Hello, my name is John Carroll, and today we're going to talk about Rational Quality Manager, a little bit, an overview of Rational Quality Manager, and then we're really going to focus in on the various ways that we can connect other environments, text, uh, test execution tools, um, as well as uh, legacy tools you may have around that don't have APIs or shared data repositories potentially and how we would connect to those types of things so that we can manage all of our test activity through a single integrated console. So first we'll talk a little bit about what Rational Quality Manager is and on the slide I'm currently showing you can see that it's made up of a couple of components. There's a test planning uh, capability where you can scope the test effort that you're going to undertake, a test construction capability for creating the test uh, cases and test scripts that ultimately you, you run and execute, then the ability to execute those tests, and then it has a collaboration uh, capability both within the tool and by virtue of sitting on top of IBM's Jazz platform, which is an open extensible platform uh, for integrating lifecycle tools, both those from IBM and also from other vendors as well. Um, we've got a tight integration with uh, various requirements management solutions so that we can have our test cases and things that we uh, execute in the test environment directly coupled to the requirements we've defined for our uh, software development efforts, as well as tying uh, to issue tracking types of tools like Rational Team Concert or ClearQuest for where we uh, map any problems we find as defects or whatever they might be. Um, but below the platform you see the various uh, test execution tools that IBM Rational provides as well, uh, the functional testing, performance testing types of capabilities, and we have uh, connections via API to all of those tools so that uh, Rational Quality Manager can directly drive those tools. So in a little more detail, in the test planning area, uh, there's a comprehensive test planning capability that allows you to uh, scope the testing effort, uh, identify what set of requirements are uh, involved and associated with a given testing effort. Um, you can identify the objectives of the testing effort, uh, set timelines, uh, allocate resources, et cetera. So overall structure um, a, a piece of your testing as a test plan. Uh, then in the test construction area, we have the ability to create the test cases and test scripts, um, both manual and automated, that actually drive our testing and directly connect those to the requirements uh, that uh, we are trying to test against. So we can take uh, requirements from requirements management tools and connect them directly to our test cases and then have uh, a connection between the execution of our tests and the requirements that they're trying to test. In the execution environment, we have the ability to drive both manual tests that we create as well as directly drive uh, automated tests. And here's where we're going to take a look today at how you actually connect these test execution environments to Rational Quality Manager uh, via, the, via the API or also via the command line, which is actually the uh, uh, capability I'm going to do a little demo of at the end of the presentation today. There's a team collaboration capability within the tool uh, that allows us to, uh, for uh, a given team, uh, define a process and actually enact and enforce that process so that depending on what type of testing a team is doing and what phase they are in their life cycle of testing, you can dictate what the rules are and what uh, process needs to be followed during the, that testing activity. Also identify review and approval cycles, et cetera. 